arrived in Ara in 1968. We came from different primary schools from all over Singapore on the basis of academic merit. Um, I remember sitting under the coconut trees by the Stamford Canal, having all sorts of intellectual discussions and wondering when the coconuts will land on, on, on the spot where we sat. For the next four to six years spent at RI, these were the formative years that shaped our values for the rest of our lives. We used to play football. We were very poor then. We kicked anything that rolled, bottle caps, the coconut that fell from the tree. We played until it was very dark and then we could not see the ball anymore. But we had a lot of fun. When I look back on those happy years, what stand out was that I made lifelong friends. I made some of my dearest and closest friends at RI. When Sir Stanford Raffles founded Singapore, his vision was to have an institution that would be able to educate those who would be leaders of the land. I was a student in RI at the old Stanford Road. I was there from 1936 to 1940. One lesson which I learned from RI has been important in the way in which I subsequently governed Singapore. I believed completely in the meritocratic system. What differentiates RI from other great schools is the spirit of public service. And it's for this reason that the school has produced three presidents and two prime ministers and many other great women and men. As a parent of two RI boys, I find that there's a preparedness that people are not shy about working hard and working together to accomplish where they want to go. We had decided to go independent in 1990. This school had the largest concentration of the ablest pupils in society, in the country. But I was not happy with the conditions in which they went from day to day. I felt that they could achieve at a higher level given the right resources. I went up to the balcony that morning with this message, we have decided to go independent. There was a loud applause from the boys. After RI went independent, we were able to attract the best teachers as well as to have the best resources. Being independent also means that we have a greater opportunity for parents and alumni to contribute to the school in terms of their time, their efforts, as well as financial resources. Whenever I meet up with former students, they tend to look back on their time with us and feel that they were part of something special at this school and that that gave them a really good start in life, a sort of leg up if you like, and uh, many of them feel maybe this is the time when they ought to be putting something back. Uh, hence, we have established the 1823 Fund. 1823 was the year the school was founded. The Fund is about connecting friends, alumni and parents to the school and invite them to build and invest in the future of RI. The fund will be used to support five causes. The first is to provide financial aid to deserving students. We would also like to provide seed funding for students embarking on community projects that would have a strong community impact. We would also be putting the funds to support teachers in their professional development, build up our sports institute so that talented sportsmen would have careers in sports as well as in sports management. And finally, we want to see the funds used to support science research for talented students who have got a passion in science. I was from the Gifted Education Program. 
still, I hesitated to come to RI because I didn't want to burden my parents financially. When I received the scholarship, my mom was very touched and grateful that an old boy had committed to help me so that I can focus on my studies. The sports scholarship has given me the recognition and inspired me to pursue cricket as a career. It is very important for teachers in RI to be continually trained because we have a very different group of students here. It is very challenging to keep them engaged in classrooms. The course which I took uh, in RI from the Raffles Teachers Academy has helped me to do just that. So we came up with this idea of organising a two-day sports camp for underprivileged children. The 1823 Fund made it a lot easier for us because we didn't have to worry about funding how to finance this project. We just had to focus on making the program as interesting as possible for the kids to enjoy. My research project involves investigating how bacteria can develop a resistance to common household disinfectants. The Raffles Science Institute has helped me by providing me with the necessary facilities so that I can effectively manage my studies and concurrently pursue my research project. RI has always been awesome on the academic front. But over time, they've also become better and better in giving breadth and depth to the education process and putting fun into learning. I think we need all our parents and our alumni to stay engaged so that RI can stay right out there on the cutting edge. RI is a precious and great institution. When you think about the great educational institutions of the world, what makes them great decade after decade, century after century, is partly because they inspire the love and loyalty of their alumni and their stakeholders. In the same way, RI's alumni and stakeholders must love and be loyal to RI. Our class of 1973 is privileged to be one of the first contributors to the 1823 Fund. I'm also privileged to contribute a further sum of money into the 1823 Fund in honour of our two classmates who have passed on. The spirit of giving back is something that is innate in every Rhodesian. They too would have given back to nurture the future generations of Rhodesians.